and gentlemen, my name's Joe Exotic, and this is Sarge. He's not your average Joe. He was like a mythical character living out in the middle of bum Oklahoma who owned 1,200 tigers and lions and bears. And... Filmed over five years, the documentary tells the wild tale of private zoo owner Joe Exotic, the self-proclaimed Tiger King. The gay gun cane redneck with a mullet. The people who worked for Joe were misfits, and they were a family. It was a place where all these misfits could come together. The seven-part true crime series delves deep into his love of animals. It's a very emotional connection between me and these cats. Extreme. His dedication to his three husbands. You may now kiss. You know. And his rivalry with big cat rescue owner, Carol Baskin. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol at Big Cat Rescue. Who, some alleged, murdered her millionaire husband. And they can't find his body. As his children from a previous marriage and former secretary have been quoted as saying that they believe Carol fed him to a tiger. But the plot thickens and thickens again. In 2018, Joe was accused of hiring someone to murder Carol. In 2017, he said Joe asked him to drive a man to Dallas to purchase a fake ID so he could drive to Florida to kill Carol Baskin. In between all these twists and turns, Exotic also ran for president. I am now stepping my foot in the ring to run for president. And he even became a country music recording artist. I saw a tiger, now I understand. Oh, I see him at Tamworth next year. I can see it all now. Very deep lyrics there. Yeah, I saw Tiger. Yeah, here to Great unpack song. this, our Tiger King expert, Matt Wolfrey, is back. Matt, this series is trending worldwide, second to the coronavirus. So why is it so popular? <laughs> it really is the only other thing people are talking about at the moment, and that's because they've been trapped at home and pretty much binge watch the series. Well, you can see there from that setup package, why, why wouldn't it be so popular? It's got everything that everybody could possibly want. I mean, Joe Exotic himself as a character, is just so hard to not watch. He calls himself a gun-swinging, tiger-keeping, mullet-wearing, gay polygamous, redneck presidential candidate. And so he ticks almost every box <laughs> under the sun in just that little part as well. But it's his feud with Carol Baskin which really drives this documentary. You, you know what it is? Is I feel like these uh, documentary makers went in there expecting to do a bit of an expo, say, on, on the underworld of big cat owning in the US, and they stumbled on murder plots, uh, people talking against each other, and this weird, weird world of people that seems like it's more of a Chris Lilly type TV show yeah. than it actually is real life is what it comes yeah, across Yeah, it's like as. Christopher Guest directed this. Whole yeah, exactly. You know, like, it just uh, doesn't, it's show. Too, too big to be real almost, but that's what happens in the US, isn't it? What I love about this is that it's, you know, as internet usually does, the internet goes crazy for stuff like this and then it, it sort of imagines and has big dreamy and the memes come out, but the Dreamcast has now been inspired on the internet. Uh, who would play this in Hollywood when Hollywood, basically, they're going to do it. So let's take us through some of the, the suggestions here, Wolfie. Uh, yeah, there's only a matter of time. There's already a podcast about this and a TV show is in the works as well. But if Hollywood did a cast, people have been putting their wish list out there online. Well, who would play Joe Exotic? Well, one of the biggest names being thrown around is Denny McBride for that. So we've done a little yeah. bit of a comparison. <laughs> I could see that there. The other one yeah. I was thinking of was Dax Shepard could also go into that role quite yeah. well as well. Carol Baskin, who's the other lead in this movie, would be Patricia Arquette yes. would fit very well. I could see her with a bit of a flower Although crown going you, you on. You want to leave the door open for Meryl. You would. I think mm. Meryl could do that a lot I mean, of she justice. she could do anything, but, <laughs> but you just need to leave that door open. Doc Antle, the other big cat over who features in this, John C. Riley has been pegged as the person to go alongside him as well. And you've also got people like Adam Driver, Channing Tatum, and a big list of A-list names who have yes. been put alongside <laughs> to play his <laughs> multiple husbands. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum <laughs> is in there as well. Everybody, look, Haley Joel Oldsman could could have his uh, little comeback as starring in this as well. So you name it, everybody. I think all of those stars would want to sign up for this. Oh, yeah. yeah, what a cast. <laughs> and um, SNL star Kate McKinnon McConaughey. actually bought the rights to the series a couple years ago. Is wow. that right? 
last version of this, which came out before this TV show uh, came out, and she bought the rights to a TV show version of it. Now, she's already cast herself to pay, play Carol Baskin in the TV show. None of the rest of the cast has been announced. No TV networks have picked this up yet, but I'd imagine now, there were, since the success of this Netflix show, there's going to be quite the bidding war for this show. So, look, uh, Kate McKinnon, she's a genius on SNL, and she's a genius because she got these rights early, which means she's going to get the big bucks, and they're certainly going to be a bidding war for She this is TV sitting show. on a pot of redneck gold there. Yeah, Matt Wolfrey, so great insight. If you want to watch it, watch it on Netflix and get talking about it because it is crazy. Bye, kitty. Bye, kitty. Bye, cool cats and kittens. Uh